Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training where we want to give you, the YouTube audience, the training that you need to tackle projects like this one on your own. Today's project is going to be doing a descaling preventive maintenance on a Scotsman ice machine. The ice machine is right here, right behind me and the uh, model number I believe the model number is a UN324 but when I take off the front panel uh, I'll show you the picture of the data nameplate so that you can see the exact model number of the unit that we're working on today. Now just to premise this whole thing I am not an ice machine expert by any means I just play one on TV so we are going to I'm going basically what I'm going to be doing is just following the directions that are in the manual the service manual from Scotsman so from the manufacturer I'm going to go to the preventive maintenance section I'm going to go and look at that and follow their step-by-step -step instructions I checked on YouTube and I did not see an exact video on other technicians doing the same preventive maintenance on this model number so if you are working on this model number which I'll put in the description link uh, it'll be a great uh, video resource for you to look at to perform your own descaling preventive maintenance on your unit so let's get started <laughs> All right, currently I have the machine off because we're in COVID-19 and um, don't need the ice machine because the cafe is down. The first uh, thing I need to do is take off the front cover. So the, here's the front cover. There's four Phillips head screws in there. I'm going to take those off right now. You can see that there's an air filter back here that we can take off and uh, clean as part of the service. Looks like it, you don't even need to take the cover off for this one. It actually just comes off right like that. So we'll, uh, we'll attack that as part of the service. Alright, so here it is with the cover off. The unit has been off. You can see that the bin is 100% empty, dry, and so forth. Down here, you can see your um, computer control here and the on-off button. We'll be addressing that. Uh, shortly, but uh, here is your model number and your serial number. So it's a UN324A as an Alpha-1A, and you can see that right there. Um, okay, so those are those items. Uh, now following the directions here, what it wants us to do on the uh, next set of instructions is to remove the inner panel using the four thumb screws and it gives you a little picture there so looking inside here so right there you can see your thumb screws right there right there right there and right there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take those off and uh, and take off this cover and I'll probably end up taking the top of this machine off here too and gaining access to everything Right, I want to show you how I'm going to handle the, the air filter. I'm just going to take a paper towel, put a little bit of water on that paper towel just to get a little wet. And then there's just a little bit of dust here. There's not much. Hopefully you can see me just kind of capturing that dust in here. So I'm just going to capture the bulk of the, the dust that has been uh, collected here on this um, air filter with you just using this uh, paper towel and then just throw this in the trash uh, and that the filter is pretty clean as is like this but what I'm going to do uh, in addition to that is take the, uh, the sink here and put some hot water on it and put that through the uh, air filter and just completely uh, back flush with water. Here's your air filter all cleaned up. I'm just going to put this in the sink and let it dry out. Okay, in order to get going with this machine, I'm going to take the top off. The top looks like it's held in place by three screws 
here's one of them right there there's another one right there okay the three screws are out and they're right here and now let me just put these aside so I don't lose them this should come okay, okay. so I lift it up and I'm pulling back There we go. Okay, now so that I have really good exposure to this, I'm going to take this door, it comes up, and if you can see the channel here, it comes up like this, and it can come basically right out. So this way, whoops! Okay, so there's a couple of sleeve inserts here that go on, that go on right here. So there's four of them because there's four of these dimples so you make sure you don't lose these sleeve inserts. I didn't see them at first, but I'll make sure I capture all four of them right now. All right, now you can see this panel that they wanted to be removed. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off these screws here. And apparently, they don't come off 100%. They just loosen and then stay on. Okay, I have the four screws loose. But this panel will not come down. This was not in the directions, but this is what you need to do. You see this tube that's right here? It's connected underneath. So what you need to do is you need to wiggle while you're pulling down this tube right here to bring that out. Then this will just drop right down. Okay, so now your front cover is off. All right, so I just have the cover sitting in the bin here. These here two lines that are coming down is the photo sensor that tells you when to stop ice production. Now if I want to disconnect that, if I bring this back, it connects right on to this connector right here. So I'm going to have to put the camera down so I have two free hands. But basically I'm just going to hit this prong and pull this out so that I can pull this out and take it take it away from the machine. Now that we're at this, this point of the um, taking the machine apart, you can see where this hose uh, connected onto the uh, reservoir right here uh, to this portion and so basically that is how that worked. Um, it looks like the way that this particular tube works is it looks like it's an overflow. There's a float switch with the water level in here so apparently if for some reason this was to run away there's a wall inside of here the water would go over go down this portion here go to the tube the, the tube is normally sitting like this I swear the way they do these directions is so confusing so here you can see remove the inner panel using the four thumb screws we've done that we're at that point that's step number four so then as we scroll down and we look at step number five remove the top cover from the reservoir it shows you the reservoir is, is this item right here, which is this item right here. You would think when they say remove the top cover, we're th talking about this cover right here, but that doesn't make sense because on step number six, it says shut water supply off at the reservoir by turning the knob counterclockwise, this knob counterclockwise, that's step six. Then step seven, locate the evaporator drain in the ice machine compartment, unplug it, and drain the evaporator. Well, so if I turn this counterclockwise, what it does, see down there? What it does is it takes the float by, by turning this counterclockwise, it takes the float and it locks it in an up position, shutting the water off. Of course, I can shut the water off right here anyways so it's already shut off here as well but if this water was energized then um, let's see if this will allow it to go yeah see it filling you can see it filling right there I'm gonna shut that off right there and just for backup go ahead and shut off my manual valve now they want me to dr find the evaporator drain plugs well guess what this is the evaporator section right there so I need to get to this panel and it's wedged against the wall so I gotta pull this machine out this machine is 
kind of held in place w because of the uh, drain line. As you can see, I've got it all um, insulated out so that it won't condensate drip out on me uh, onto the floor. So I have a union right there. I'm going to break that union and get this machine out. All right, so I pulled the machine out and um, I'm getting ready to take that back cover off. I bet you this line right here is going to be the evaporator drain line uh, before I even get back there. That's my going to be my guess. But basically, there's these uh, Phillips head screws right here. There's about six or seven of them. So I'm going to pull these off and pull the panel off. All right, I was correct. This is the evaporator drain line. Let me show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so this is what the back of the unit looks like. Um, the evaporator section is this section right here. This is where there's an auger that spins around and the uh, cold refrigerant lines are, are, are is what's creating the uh, cold and that is where it's uh, allowing the water to uh, turn into ice. Now this is just the auger motor. There's a gear here and then, it, and then this is what turns the, the auger. There's a tray down here and at the bottom of the tray I see a drain line right there. You see that? I don't know where that drain line goes yet but we'll look at that in a second. Now when you're looking over here you see this insulated line here. This is your water line here coming in. The water line uh, comes in, goes to, through these copper fittings right here, and then it goes to where my finger is. The water comes in here, here, and it goes here, and it goes right there to that copper line, and then right into the float mechanism. So this is how the water, which I currently have off, gets made up when the float uh, goes down. So this is how we how the whole water system works. That explains this line. See this line right here? You see inside there? Okay, see those two copper lines? Obviously the smaller one is the liquid line and the larger diameter pipe is the suction line. So there's your two refrigerant lines that are currently inside this insulation right here. This line here is that evaporator drain line that I was showing you on the front end of the equipment, okay? Now, this is what it looks like on the evaporator drain line. If you can see this, it comes to this t plastic tubing here, and then what it does is it, it actually tees. You see right here? It's a little, I know this is very hard to see, and everything they did with black insulation, but my finger is on the the drain line that's capped off currently it goes into here which is to the evaporator and it also comes over to here which is I'll show you on this side which is this line right here so if you wanted to drain the reservoir which is right there this is how you would do it you would do it in uh, when, so when you when I go and drain this down on the front of the machine, it's going to drain the evaporator, and it's going to drain this water level from the reservoir. It's going to drain both. So that's what this line is right here. There's one more panel door back here at the bottom. I want to take that off. There's, all right, this is what it looks like in the back of the unit. Now you have really clean access to the compressor. And that drain line that I was telling you about that was, uh, that was over here uh, on the um, bottom of the, uh, the evaporator, that line is, is, let me show you underneath here. There it is right there with that, red, with that red dot on that gray line. And it comes in, and if you follow it, it tees in with this other, um, this main drain line here, which normally you know is is mated with that and it just goes right to the uh, to the drain over there so so that's what this drain line does for this um, 
the bottom of this evaporator, it just tees into the main drain line. Now, looking underneath here, you can see the line that we're following, which is this line with my finger on. That line there goes down. Get some light in here so you can see. That, that line goes down and it just goes towards very tight here sorry everybody uh, let's see here it just it goes down to the to the front of the unit there okay and it goes to where I, to where I showed you so basically that's what everything looks like in there's a good shot of the coil I already cleaned that off with some compressed air but uh, you can gain really good back of the coil access here uh, by removing this back panel, you just have to pull the whole thing out. Big pain in the butt, but gives you pretty good access by doing so. Okay, so here is operationally how this whole thing works. There's two lines here. One of them is going to be the suction, and one of them is going to be the uh, uh, liquid line. And it looks like this line here might be the liquid line and this line here might be the suction line uh, no, or vice versa actually this is the liquid line here and this one here is the suction line and the water is this line here which is entering into the evaporator right there at the bottom and what it does is is it matches the height of the reservoir here so you see that water level that's right there that water level carry that across is the water level inside of the evaporator so that reservoir which is right about here that water level which is right about there is going to be let me just set this up it's going to be like this so you got you got this much of the evaporator in a bath of water and this much not in water so as it ices up the auger brings it up the chute and then it comes back up. Oh, so then there's this here and that shows you what the top of this here looks like and the ice comes out there as as the auger is spinning very very slowly okay the auger is spinning and it's bringing that ice up here and then down the chute and then into the bin and then as it fills up those two sensors that I showed you which is on this uh, this portion right here this is going to uh, be on the uh, on the unit and then and then as it comes to these um, hang on one second here it actually is up there. Okay, so normally this is the way that that you're that you're looking at it like this but as it as the ice comes down here and it fills up this way at, when it blocks this this sensor right here it shuts off the ice stops it from making ice all right I've got my shop back here and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out the evaporator drain line got my next step here that we need to do I've already replaced the drain plug now we need to mix a solution of 1.5 quarts of warm water and uh, four ounces of Scotsman clear one so we have our uh, Scotsman clear one right here we have uh, plenty of this product I've got my uh, cylinders for mixing so we need one and a half quarts I'll put everything inside of here all right I've got my solution mixed up right there they give you a little warning here to let you know that the um, clear one does uh, contain an acid so you have gotta be careful so for PPE I have some safety glasses and some rubber gloves that I'm going to be putting on now the next step of this is to pour the product the uh, pour the cleaning solution into the reservoir until it is full a squirt bottle may be necessary to do this so we are going to take off the uh, top of the reservoir and pour this in until it's full. Mind you, this is where I had sucked it out. This is where I had used the shop vac and sucked everything out. So when I fill this up, it's not going to fill up just the reservoir. It's going to fill up the reservoir plus that evaporator section in the back. So here we go.
Okay, to get this off, there's two tabs, one here and one here. I'm going to make tight fit. Let me try it. Oh, okay, it's easier to pull it from the bottom and then out. That, that was easier than trying to take this tab. Do this tab first and then that tab. And then here's what it looks like. I'll just set that aside for now. We're going to pour our solution that I made up, which is one and a half quarts. right in there until it is full. Now you can kind of, I started burping, so it's burping and bleeding out the air that's inside of the auger mechanism, so it's going to take a little time. Well, that, that might be it for now. There's still, oh, I still have about one pint of material left. Okay, now we need to uh, push the clean button. The machine will operate the auger motor for approximately 20 minutes. Then it will start making ice with the cleaning solution. Okay, so I had unplugged the machine, so going back to the beginning of the instructions, the first thing that they wanted me to do, the second step here, was turn the machine off by pressing the on-off button. So we're going to plug the machine in, and then we're going to press off. Then we're going to drop down and press the clean button. Let's get this plugged in. All right, now we're looking at the control panel. Here is the on-off. I'm going to push this and it looks like we're off because this went to O. Now what I want to do is I want to hit the clean button. So I'm going to hit clean which is this button right here. Just in case you can't see that. Oh, and you can see it turned to C which definitely looks like cleaning. You can see, I can see and hear the auger motor turning. And I don't see anything happening with my reservoir, but it should be bathed. The water level here should be completely uh, inside of the uh, evaporator section here, so and it should be churning. And eventually, this is going to start to make ice. Okay, now that the machine is started, I'm going to go ahead and start my stopwatch here. Within 20 minutes, when this starts. Um, coming up we should start seeing ice and I'm going to monitor this with my stopwatch to see how long it takes to make the ice. Alright, what the directions are asking for is once the unit starts making ice you're going to, and the reservoir starts dropping I'm going to add the remaining cleaning solution to the reservoir as, it's, as the ice is being made for the next 20 minutes. So it's a total of a 40 minute exercise right now and then I'll turn the unit off. So right now we're cleaning the inside of the unit with the cleaning solution, which is this product right here, the uh, Clear One uh, from Scotsman Scale Remover for ice machines. And then as we begin to make the ice, the rest of the solution will go into the reservoir here, so this way we can constantly keep cleaning for another 20 minutes with um, all of this descaling um, ice um, uh, descaling solution. Okay, it's been 24 minutes, and you can see here that we are just starting to make ice now for the first time. You can see it's spilling out into the uh, tray below. What I've been doing for the last 20 minutes is I put the uh, back panels on. And I'm going to hook up the drain line right now so when I clean out the bin it all goes down the drain. You can see that the reservoir is empty. I'm going to put this water in here, the uh, solution mix, and fill up the reservoir so we can keep making this ice. There, it's right at the top. So as it keeps making the ice this will keep dropping but I want to hook up that drain line right now. All right, at about 26, 27 minutes, this, the, uh, I could hear the compressor shut off. The auger has shut off as well, and I got a display code here, and I can't tell whether it's a 6 or a 9, 
but I'm gonna try and just hit clean one more time uh, that didn't work let me hit the on off button and let me hit clean all right so I just started another clean cycle because and, and now it's turned on again to uh, produce more ice I still have a little bit more solution here and it hasn't been 40 minutes it's less than 40 minutes and I still have water in the reservoir right there is the level so I'm just gonna uh, keep going until this solution is 100% empty um, and I'll keep monitoring the time to see how much time it takes all right while we're still waiting for that cycle to go through because I still have that more solution left to put in the reservoir as it begins to make more ice I connected my drain line up all the machine is back together normally the back of the machine the machine is in place we just have these front covers off for access we're gonna leave this be what we're gonna do now is we're gonna focus our attention on cleaning the photo eye level controls so I mixed a solution of four ounces of the clear one and 1.5 quarts of water and now we're going to remove the sensors from the inner cover by removing the white c-clips and then I don't have a cotton swab but I have some paper towel here so we're going to use some paper towel in to clean the uh, photo sensors thoroughly then we'll rinse them with water and we'll reinstall the sensors okay so inside this bucket here is where I've got my cleaning uh, solution with the um, descaling solution there with the clear one here's the your panel now I've actually already removed them uh, the sensors from the panel but just so that you can see how this works basically what happens is this sensor goes in here and there's a keyway here so it has to go in a specific way then here is your white clip which keeps it in place like that um, what they're asking you to do is to pull out the white clip pull this here but your sensor is uh, really inside of this um, this cavity so what you need to do here is you need to take this and need to pull that apart like this so that you can actually see the, the sensor okay then I'm just going to take some paper towel don't need much and I'll just go ahead and put a glove on since we know that we're dealing with acid so I'll just take some of this here it's kind of an acidy solution here I should put on two gloves put on both gloves there we go now I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna clean the sensor here and we're gonna do the same thing over here this one here it's got a really dark color to it maybe that's the way it's supposed to be I don't know probably because it's not cleaning off or anything this just one's dark in color and one's light in color now that's pretty much as clean as you're going to get it wiping it with a cotton swab in this case a paper towel and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it so I'm going to set this aside put a little water on the sink okay so now I'm just going to rinse out the sensors set that water on and I have some more paper towel here I'm just going to dry this up make sure everything's nice and dry Okay. It's such a mild solution. Who knows? I, I don't know. The gloves can't hurt you, but uh, who knows? Okay, so now I'm going to put this back together again. It snaps into place when you do it. Okay, so the, so the photo sensor, it does snap inside of this black housing. I'm going to put that in. There's a key way that it's ma mating to. Then I'm going to take 
the white clip and put that in the back here and that sensor is completely in the proper location. We're going to do the same thing with this one. Let me make sure it's good and dry. Put it in. And I can feel it snap and seat right in there properly. I'm going to put this in, making sure that the keyway lines up appropriately. I think it's kind of idiot proof. It won't let you fit it in otherwise. And then I've got my white clip here. And we're going to go ahead and put that on. And now that's good to go. So the photo sensor is nice and clean. Okay, we're beginning to make some more ice. The water level is coming down. I have a little bit more solution left. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Okay, that's 100% of the solution. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this cycle out and let it um, let it go ahead and uh, make this uh, cleaning solution to descale inside of the auger. Alright the machine cycled off again and I'm at 53 minutes on on this so I've been working at this for 53 minutes. Came up with that same error code which I believe is stands for the letter B which it says the bin is full. So um, even though I was in cleaning mode. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the um, this here and just consider all the solution is 100% and move on with the rest of the procedure. Now, we did the uh, photo eye cleaning. This is 100% completed. We completed this section here. We just need to uh, complete this section here. So we did drain the solution okay I'm sorry we're, we're at step 12 add the remaining cleaning solution to the reservoir as the ice is being made for the next 20 minutes I'm into this for 40 minutes so we're at 53 minutes so we're gonna let that go we're at step 13 we are going to drain the solution from the reservoir by removing the plug once drained replace the plug Pour clean water into the bin to melt any away, any ice produced during the cleaning cycle. Mix a solution of four ounces of Scotsman Clear One Ice Machine Scale Mover and 16 ounces of potable water. Use the scale remover solution for the water reservoir cover, ice discharge chutes, the ice storage bin and the inner front cover. So basically they want me to clean uh, everything. Uh, but let me go ahead and uh, follow these uh, steps. So my next step is to uh, drain the solution uh, from the reservoir and replace the plug. So let me do that. All right, now I'm just going to keep dumping hot water down here to get rid of all the mice, all of the ice, and make sure that the bin is nice and clean. Plus, I can look for any uh, leaks in the drain line while I'm doing this uh, procedure. All right, I've mixed up two cleaning solutions. One's got a heavy acid con concentrate, which is that one, and I have another one that's a little bit more uh, diluted, less acid concentrate there. So now I'm going to just take a uh, scotch Bright pad here and I'm going to go ahead and just clean all the surfaces that I can uh, starting with the uh, heavier acid and then finishing off with the lighter acid concentrate. This bin is like spick and span. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 
cover over there and I'm just going to rinse it under the sink making sure the electrical connection is dry. All right, now that we are done with the sanitize with with the um, with the cleaning with the acid, I'm going to go ahead and take some clean water and I'm going to go ahead and rinse out everything that we did. Okay, they wanted me to mix this up, the uh, sanitizing uh, concentrate, four ounces of this to 2.5 gallons of water, which I've done. Now I'm going to take this uh, solution and I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, inside of the reservoir here, 100%. So, we'll, so we're going to sanitize the inside of the machine now. So what I'm going to do is fill this right up 100% like that and now I'm going to turn the machine on by hitting the on off button down the bottom okay I'm going to hit the on off button down here and let's go on uh, I have a bin full oh because I don't have the top on all right, so basically what they want me to do now is take, pour the sanitizing solution in the reservoir until it is full, wait two minutes, turn on the water supply, press the on off button to turn the ice machine on, operate the machine for 15 minutes in normal mode. They don't say that. Drain the solution from the system by pulling the reservoir plug at the drain, return the plug when drained. So according to this, when you're done with step five, all of your cleaning is done. But they have me make two and a half gallons of solution. And this is the sanitizing solution. So it seems logical to me that why don't I just put the machine on cleaning mode like I had it before. And so let me do this. Let me shut the machine off turn the machine on and hit clean see if it will allow me to do that okay hold on shut it off and hit clean okay did you hear that so I shut the machine off I hit clean you can see that it says C for cleaning mode and it seems logical to me to take this sanitizing solution to run it through here and to let it go now an interesting thing Part of the instructions did not say to clean the back of this cover and I didn't realize it at the time but this had a bunch of calcium on it and I would have made up another solution but my container of scale remover is, is completely empty. I gotta buy more of this stuff. So the instructions are good. They get, they get you on the right path to get started but they're not perfect. Like for instance, this, the step that I'm doing right now is not part of the instructions. This is just me using what I think is common sense, trying to get some sanitizing solution for a few harvests in the in the evaporator section. Then I'll go ahead and drain everything out, and then put the machine in normal use, and then and then uh, put the the water back on. Then it will s cycle through and purge out all of that sanitizing solution. Of course, the first batches of ice we throw away. And, um, and that way we get a really good, clean system. All right, so basically it's going to take at least 20 minutes for me to start, start harvesting some ice. So I'm going to sit in this condition for 20 minutes, start to harvest some ice, watch my, my level there, use all of this sanitizing solution here just to try to get a couple of bins through and then I'm going to go back to normal operation uh, and purge this out. We made a little bit of ice. I already rinsed it away so I, I can't show you on the camera. But the bottom line is, is right now I'm at a rinsing stage. I got some clean water in that bucket right there and I'm just going to rinse the machine out. I'm going to put my shop vac on that um, evaporator drain line to get some fresh water rinsed through the system, through the evaporator and get this nice and flushed and then I'm just going to go to normal operation.
Okay, I got the cover on here. Uh, I forgot to put this cover on. Actually, I should be fine. This cover, you put it on forward and then you pull it towards here. So we're good. We're good there. All right, make sure we're good. Um, I still have the water off here. So what I'm going to do is let me turn the water on. See how it adjusts the float right there? And now I'm going to open this valve up. You see it's going up right there? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I got to put this cover on. I probably need to remove this cover in order to put this top cover on. Let me work on that. Okay, so I turn the machine off. You can see that it's off right there. Power is on. It says time to clean. The amber light is on right there. I hit the on button and it has a symbol that looks like B bin is full and it needs to be cleaned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to you know what? I forgot to put this tube back on. So let me put that tube back on that uh, uh, drain line, the overflow for the reservoir. And I'm going to remove these sensors and clean them. All right, let me try that again. Okay, did you see that? It jumped right on. Interestingly enough, it says that it's time to clean, but I just cleaned the machine, so I don't get that. The auger is on, the compressor is on, and we're in cooling mode right now, so we're making, we're in ice making mode. You can even see the auger moving there. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, top on, so we can, uh, the water is on, and the water is on right there. We should be totally good. Let me get the uh, top on. Okay, I'm going to put the front cover on. Okay, here is the air filter, nice and clean. I'm going to put this in right now. And pretty much, you can't mess up, it only goes in one way, which is going to be this way. That's it. Okay, the exterior is pretty clean, but I'm going to take some simple green right now. Just one last time, go over everything. All right, you can see that we're harvesting ice with non, no issues at all, harvesting the ice. Here's what the inside of the co compartment looks like. Everything is nice and clean. What I'm gonna let, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna harvest this ice for 24 hours. Then I'm gonna take all this ice and pitch it down the drain to give the system a really nice uh, flush. I want, I want the um, all the sanitizing solution and everything like that to be 100% uh, uh, cleaned out. All right, that is going to conclude this video. Um, I had in a previous cleaning or preventive maintenance for this, I already took my air compressor and cleaned out the condenser coils, so you didn't see that, but that would be a normal annual service at the same point in time to make sure that your condenser coils are nice and clean. Um, but you saw basically the descaling of the evaporator of this Scotsman ice machine. This is my first time doing it. I'm not claiming to be uh, a comfortable professional doing this. I was just basically following the instructions. But even the instructions were uh, they up for a little interpretation. So I hope you got some tips and tricks from this video. If you found this video valuable in any way, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, Ken Training. Check out my series of other videos that I have on my channel, and I will catch you on the flip side.